Good day. My name is Carl Rao, and it's great to be with you. Like you, I grew up in North Carolina. The father of your teacher, Mrs. Keith, lived a few doors down. We grew up together and we've remained lifelong friends. I was very honored when Mrs. Keith contacted me and asked me to speak to you for a few moments today about my military service. And I'd like to thank each of you for taking time to remember our veterans. Mrs. Keith gave me a handful of questions, things that you had asked, and I've got a little cheat sheet here that'll keep me on point so I can uh, try to address everything that uh, you uh, had asked. I served in the United States Navy for a little over 28 years, from 1981 to 2010. I served as a supply officer. We're known as the business managers of the Navy. We handle all the logistics support for the Navy. Things like managing the budget and doing financial management. Ordering and managing, ordering over all the parts the Navy needs and managing the inventory. Dispersing or paying all of the sailors. Food service and a myriad of other functions that are necessary to keep the Navy the fine force, fi the fine fighting force that it is. You know, when I graduated from college almost 40 years ago, I wasn't getting any, any job offers that I really was much interested in. I'd always had an interest to travel, and I was also interested in the Navy. I'd heard a couple of good stories of people who'd gone into the Navy, were making good money, were enjoying it, and I thought I'd try it out for four years, which was what my initial commitment was. I left on uh, November 27th, 1981, to go to Officer Candidate School. Now, several of you asked about boot camp. Uh, I didn't go to boot camp as, a, as an officer. I went instead, as I said, to Officer Candidate School. This school was up in Newport, Rhode Island, on Narragansett Bay, uh, on the coast of uh, New England. And it was the dead of winter. It was miserable up there. We, uh, we marched to class every day uh, in 30 to 40 knot wind with uh, rain and ice blowing in our face almost every day. It was a uh, tough time. I was there for four months during the dead of winter, as I said. And believe it or not, the only break that I got from that was at Christmas, they let us all take leave and come home and uh, came home to North Carolina and I served, actually served as an usher in Mrs. Keith's parents' wedding while I was home on leave at that time. Uh, shortly after uh, officer candidate school, I, I received my commission as a commissioned officer in the Navy and my desire to see the world was very quickly fulfilled. Uh, my first ship was a aircraft carrier, Carl Vinson, it was named after a congressman from uh, Georgia, and it did an eight-month round-the-world cruise. We transferred our home port from Norfolk, Virginia to Alameda, California. Alameda is in the uh, San Francisco Bay Area, as many of you may know. During that eight-month round-the-world cruise, I, got, I truly got to see the world. The Virgin Islands in the Caribbean, Spain, France, Monaco, Italy, Casablanca in Morocco, Abidjan, the capital of the Ivory Coast in Africa, Oman, a country in the Middle East, Australia, went to Perth and uh, Fremantle, Australia, in Western Australia, Singapore, the uh, Philippine Islands, Japan, South Korea, and my very first visit to Hawaii. After that eight-month cruise, I was hooked. Some of you had asked if I ever had any uh, desire to serve in another service. I never did. Loved the Navy and certainly decided to stay uh, a lot longer than the initial four years that I was committed for. Uh, you asked about life overseas. I went to some truly beautiful places. Uh, the French Riviera in the Mediterranean, certainly one of the prettiest places I ever went to. Um, but I also went to some other places that certainly weren't so nice. I saw extreme poverty, uh, lots of beggars, uh, places that had no indoor plumbing. Very, very primitive. Certainly 
uh, gave me an even greater appreciation for all the wonderful things that we have living here in America. Uh, in addition to the places that I mentioned on that uh, very first round the world cruise, that was in 1983, the Navy also gave me the opportunity to see a number of other great places. I've been to London. I've been to Rio de Janeiro, one of the most beautiful cities in the world. Been to Israel. Been to uh, Egypt and explored the Valley of the Tombs of the Kings. That's where King Tut uh, was buried. Uh, during my career, I served uh, in uh, several times in combat. I served in the uh, Red Sea and in the Persian Gulf during Operation Desert Storm, and later I served in uh, the North Arabian Sea during Operation Iraqi Freedom. One of the questions that you posed to me was how do rankings work? Well, I'll, I'll tell you this. Uh, the rankings work the same in all of the military services, but what's unique is that we have different, different names. Uh, in the Navy, our enlisted personnel those are the people that are sort of the hands-on workers. They're the technical experts, the ones that repair our weapon systems. They're known as petty officers. Uh, in the other services, the enlisted personnel most are known as sergeants, and they have different names depending on how high they progress in rank. Uh, in, the, in the officer corps, again, we have the same levels but different titles. I retired as a, a fairly senior officer. I retired as a Navy captain. That's the equivalent of a colonel, uh, is what they're called in the other services. But here's the confusing part. The other services do have a rank that they call captain. But in the Navy, we call that rank lieutenant, and that's a junior officer. As I became more senior, I was given some big jobs. One of the most fun and most rewarding jobs I've received was to serve as a supply officer of the USS Nimitz. Nimitz is an aircraft carrier named after the Commander-in-Chief of the Pacific Fleet during World War II. Uh, it was a huge job, as I said. I had about 650 people working for me, about 20 officers, and the rest were enlisted. Uh, aircraft carriers are huge. I don't know if any of you have ever had a chance to go on a big ship or maybe take a pleasure cruise, but uh, aircraft carriers are among the largest ships in the world. Can you imagine a ship that's almost four football fields long, that has a airport on the roof, that has a hotel for uh, 6,000 people, has uh, restaurants for 6,000 people, that has facilities to do laundry for 6,000 people? That's what an aircraft carrier is like. I've got here uh, something we used to call our gee whiz stats that uh, just would sort of surprise people about the size of an aircraft carrier. Let me just read you a few things about what life is like out there. I managed over 50 storerooms, had over 50,000 different line items that we carried in our inventory to support the maintenance and upkeep of all the weapon systems and everything on the ship. Listen to this, we prepared 20,000 meals a day uh, on board the carrier we didn't serve three meals a day, we served four meals a day because there's a large number of people that work all night. We normally served a meal from about 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. We called it mid-rats, which was short for midnight rations. As supply officer, I oversaw the dispersing division. That's the division that paid all of our sailors and paid all of our bills whenever we went into port. If you can believe this, we left port when we left on cruise carrying eight million dollars in cash to be able to pay all our bills as we went along. Um, some other things that might interest you, we had three gyms on board that uh, I was in charge of. A lot of sailors want to uh, work out uh, and keep fit during their spare time. I managed the post office. 80,000 pounds of mail a month and about $35,000 in stamp sales. So just to give you a, a sense of what it's like, we carried about 85 aircraft, including uh, both jets uh, as well as uh, helicopters. We uh, had all kinds of uh, technicians on board to, who could repair the myriad of weapon systems that we carried. It was a city all by itself. 
You know, I told you I grew up in North Carolina. The little town I grew up in only had 2,000 people. The sh ship I went to sea in had three times that many. We had 6,000. I loved every minute of it. Uh, my naval career was uh, very exciting. Uh, probably the hardest part uh, was the downtime away from family. Uh, we were separated quite a bit, certainly any time I was on deployment. And there were other times uh, when I was separated from my family. I traveled quite a lot and actually uh, lived on separate coasts for a while. My family lived in Virginia when I was stationed in San Diego, California. But all in all, Navy was, been, was very good to me. I had a great career and I loved it. Once again, I'd like to thank you for taking time to remember our veterans uh, this year at Veterans Day. If you want to do something for a veteran, just thank them for their service. They, they'll, it'll mean the world to them if you'll just take a few minutes and say, thank you for your service. I've enjoyed being with you. Have a great day.